McCullough with the Mississippi Development Authority Executive Director uh, here at the American Graphene Summit. Glenn, thanks for joining. Well, listen, we're really excited to be here. You know, we at the Mississippi Development Authority believe that the future of graphene is, is really unlimited. Graphene is a unique compound and now being commercialized and mm -hmm. Mississippi is the place where we believe companies can achieve their goals as it relates to commercializing graphene and improving the quality of life for people around the world. That's excellent. Could you give me, I guess, a little bit more specifics as to the background of the MDA and why you think it exactly. is differentiated yeah, from other states? The Mississippi states? Development Authority is the state of Mississippi's lead economic development organization. So we have an opportunity to work with companies mm -hmm. that are located in Mississippi or looking for a location okay. to bring them to Mississippi so that they can commercialize graphene. Uh, we're very proud that Mississippi is the center uh, for graphene research and innovation at Ole Miss, the University of Mississippi. So Mississippi and graphene have a very strong foundation mm -hmm. and we believe a bright future. That's excellent. So if I were a, a graphene company and I was looking for a location, uh, what, what specifically you know, do you think would be beneficial about Mississippi? Well, first of all, Ole Miss is on the leading edge of research mm -hmm. for graphene, determining applications and also the commercialization. How to innovate graphene and actually take it to the marketplace, mm -hmm. that's all happening on the campus of the University of Mississippi. Secondly, Mississippi has a workforce that will provide companies an advantage mm -hmm. in terms of commercializing uh, graphene, continuing to innovate this unique compound mm -hmm. and taking it to people around the world. And third, we are the place. Uh, the University of Mississippi located in Oxford, the flagship campus, but in Mississippi we have b available buildings and sites. We have a workforce that gives companies an advantage. So we in Mississippi look forward to welcoming companies that will mm -hmm. take graphene to people around the world. That's exciting. There's a lot of people looking to do it. So Absolutely. The future is bright. I'd love to learn a little bit more about your thoughts on the National Graphene Association. Yeah, this is really exciting, this American Graphene Summit here mm -hmm. in Washington, D.C. We're found, finding that there are companies around the world that are really uh, in the United Kingdom and in other countries around the world that are doing exciting things in mm -hmm. graphene. We think that that matches up well with what's going on in Mississippi, at mm -hmm. the University of Mississippi, uh, with the Center of Graphene Research and Innovation. Mm -hmm. So we're excited about the the really chemistry between yep. the possibilities of graphene and what we have in Mississippi. Mm -hmm. Seems to be a common thread amongst uh, research institutions and in their uh, surrounding innovation ecosystems in their communities. Absolutely. It seems like that's happening uh, quite a bit down in Mississippi as well. And, and, and with Insight Park at the University of Mississippi at Ole Miss, mm -hmm. we have a, essentially a small business incubator. We also have larger sites and buildings available for companies that might want to do full-scale commercial, commercialization of graphene. So we're excited about this summit. Mm -hmm. uh, the potential is really unlimited in aerospace, in energy, uh, in, in actually making uh, uh, roads and bridges more secure. Graphene has just got unlimited potential, mm -hmm. and uh, we in Mississippi look forward to taking the next step with companies. Excellent. And speaking of this event, what are some outcomes you hope uh, you know might come out of gathering all the stakeholders yeah, together? Yeah, you know, already uh, Harris and Matheny and I are getting to meet corporate leaders from around the mm -hmm. world that are on the leading edge of graphene research and commercializ commercialization. Mm -hmm. So we're confident that they will find a home in Mississippi. We're actually connecting connecting with leaders who see the promise of graphene. Sounds like there's some immediate uh, tangible value you're getting well, out of really, this. Well, really, this is an exciting summit, and, and of course, we've got the chairman of the Commerce, mm -hmm. Science, and Transportation Committee, Mississippi Senator Roger Wicker. Mm -hmm. uh, chairman Wicker will be speaking tomorrow, so that's going to be an exciting keynote uh, mm -hmm. here at this summit on Capitol Hill. And uh, we in Mississippi, at the Mississippi Development Authority, we're proud to be a part of it. That's exciting. And, and you talk about state involvement, but you also talk about uh, federal involvement as Absolutely. well. Can you talk about just the importance of what that means to the industry? Well, when you know, when Chairman Wicker uh, uh, supports the potential of graphene, then that just speaks volumes, not mm -hmm. only in the United States, but around the world. And, and of course, having the University of Mississippi on the leading edge of research and innovation for graphene, we believe gives Mississippi an edge. And this summit in Washington is so exciting. We've got leaders coming from around the world, really. And so 
uh, Mississippi, the state of Mississippi, Governor Phil mm -hmm. Bryant, MDA, we're supportive of the potential of graphene and having leaders on Capitol Hill like Chairman Roger Wicker be a part of this uh, big summit is, we believe, very exciting. Certainly, and uh, I'd like to ask uh, for kind of a prediction question for my last question, but specifically for the state of Mississippi, what do you think this means going forward in the near future? What can we expect to see more of? Well, as you know, graphene is in the research mode and mm -hmm. now moving toward uh, the innovation that gets you to more commercial applications. At the University of Mississippi, the center, we believe that, that we are on the leading edge of commercial commercialization. So what we want to do now is connect with corporate leaders. These corporate leaders see the commercial application of graphene. We believe that Mississippi, we have the workforce and we are the place where graphene can reach its full potential. Mm -hmm. Corporate leaders, give MDA a call. Absolutely. <laughs> we are open for business in Mississippi. Great. And Glenn, thanks for joining. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You bet.